cousin internet it's me cousin todd with mama's comedy show and with me is cousin megan hi megan did you get your hair done no look good oh thanks you didn't have anything done well i cut it a while ago oh so you had something done yeah but like any other lies you want to start (laughs) off the show with you've seen me since then uh i'm trying to give you a compliment and did you get your hair done it looks weird. I didn't say it looks weird. It's the connotation. This is what you live with, Jason. He knows. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's aware. <laughs> Did I ever tell you the story? Uh, I, was, I was just talking about this. Speaking of living with people, um, an ex-girlfriend of mine that you know, uh, we work together. She's very beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, our friend, Kelsey, who's, who's one of my trainers now. Yeah. Uh, she was... A, a dancer in the same show. Yeah. And at the beginning of our show that Megan and I were in and will be in again shortly. Um, keep saying that. I'd been there. All right. Uh, <laughs> but um, the, uh, the beginning of the show, people, guests would come in and they would meet us at the door, characters at the door, and the characters would take them to their seats. Well, our friend Kelsey was there. She's a funny girl. She said something to me and I just kind of went, <laughs> laughed at it. That's it. So my girlfriend, who was, was also in that show, said nothing to me throughout the show. And I thought, oh, maybe she's not feeling well. Maybe, may, like maybe something's going on. And then on the way home, she's definitely angry about something, staring out the window. And I said, is everything okay, babe? Everything okay? Yeah. You sure? Fine. Okay. And that, at that point, like, I go, oh, fuck. Like, this is going to be something. What? What did I do? And I'm trying to think because the the character in the show would make jokes at the dancer's expense. And I was like, did I hit a nerve or did I do something? And get home, close the door, and I turn around after locking the door. And she's standing there with her arms crossed. And she says, so, what was so funny? And I'm racking my brain trying to think about, like, what what happened? Like, what is she talking about? And I, was, I said, I, I honestly don't know what you're talking about. And she said, well, you and Kelsey were just laughing it up. <laughs> I don't even remember what Kelsey said. That's how, like, insignificant it was. Oh, my God. But, yeah, seriously, uh, Jason, she's going to murder you. I mean, I, I paid a lot of money for him to get here. Yeah. What are you doing? He's, he can join in. There's you're no one allowed? on the microphone. All right. I'm allowed, I'm allowed to have words of my own. No. <laughs> This is an equal Hold society. on, not Let yet. Me turn your mic up. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think she's going to murder me, but the the rabbit stew we had was <laughs> under seasoned. <laughs> oh, now he's talking about your cooking. Yeah, I guess. You guys, this podcast is going to be all about oh, fixing this marriage. Jesus, <laughs> how often do you have sex with each other? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, and that stipulation. Uh, yeah, man, fucking. Bitches be shopping. Am I right? <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know how to respond. To <laughs> Jason, today, I go, <laughs> so we've been doing this diet, and uh, I bought a pair of pants at Target the other day, and I turned to him when I was getting ready to go, and I was like, babe, guess what size these pants are? He did a very good job. He overshot. That's Good. Which is the way to do it. Mm-hmm. Did he take like a good 15 seconds as no. in doing the math in his head of how far he should overshoot? No. Like, like doing like he the went, conversions he of was, the UK he, to US. He, he made the right decision and said the size of pants I was wearing at the very beginning of the diet. He oh, said, are well, they, that's a number he already a, knew. So. Right. No, not at all. Are they a t- <laughs> he says, are they a 10? And I said, no, they're a 6. And I like went like this and he's like, oh, good, they're big on you and i was this like being yeah like putting a thumb in a jeans to show the, the yeah. gap between said jeans and yeah the body. you got that thigh gap going no <laughs> that's unhealthy that means that your hips are too far what, apart what i like doing is when my girlfriend is proud about the weight she's lost i put on her pants and go look how big these are on me look at how <sighs> big these are oh, God. because of their hips jason you can run. do it it's easy <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening, Ron. So speaking of uh, uh, bitches being bitches, bitches be shopping. Um, today I was walking through uh, the park, the, yeah. the theme park here in town, and <laughs> the, the one, the the there's a how do I say this without giving it away? 
there's a magical wizard section in one of the parks. I'm not going to say. Fantasia? Jason, I'm not going to say. Oh, okay. Stop trying to guess. But there's a magical wizard section. And as I was walking through, it's very crowded. Mm. And these two women bump into each other. One woman is holding like a drink with a, a lid and a straw. So uh-huh. it's fine. Yeah. But they just, you know, clip shoulders. And immediately this one turns around and just goes, excuse you. Oh, wow. And it, that, at that point right there, I was like, you know what? And I think I texted, this is when I texted you and Tony. I was like, if aliens came right now and said, give me a compelling reason to not kill all of you, I'd be like, fuck, that was it. Like my last one was, yeah. was that we at least could treat each other decently. Nah. In an instance where there really was no one at fault. It was right. just a crowded street. I've seen people be more nasty to each other lately, and it's sad. It the makes civility me war. Yeah. Marvels. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> civility just be, war. Be civil um, when they're trying to murder you and your friends and family. Oh, speaking of, mm-hmm. um, go out tomorrow together, to both of you together. Have an abortion now because you're not going to be oh, able yeah, to do it. Oh, yeah, you got to stock months. up. You got to stock just, them up. Oh, you're gonna like you're gonna get as many abortions, up. abortions like a, like a as you can. Mm-hmm. you can. Get? Yeah, it's like a punch card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go to Sam's tomorrow. Free. Yeah, yeah. Go to Sam's. Get a pallet of abortions. Yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> a pallet. If you could pay for them all in advance, and then they even yeah. when they because they, they are still work, they're going to repeal it. Yeah, it's, it's going gonna, to be taken away. That's going to go away in a few months. I think uh, gay marriage is going away. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, the, you got to vote. Got to vote. Have everyone move out of the country. So it's just him and his fake wife. And his fake <laughs> ass. It's going to be bitch like, ass like wife. a Twilight Zone. There's time I'm now. About Pence, of course. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to get everyone out of the country, and then he's going to go, finally, I can read, and then he's going to break his glasses. No. <laughs> no, he's not going to break his glasses. He's going to open a book and go, I never learned how to read. <laughs> Why is he British? Um, because when all the other people okay, now, go away. Now do your Obama accent. Oh, no. It's just my my presidential <laughs> accent is the same. It's just the same. Oh. Oh, it's no. Good times. So, but, th- but that made me think of like, all right, if an alien race was like soaring through our solar system and mm. they contact you mm. through your TV – and they're like, hey, so what's Earth all about? Should we visit, give you guys immortality, or just, you know... Well, first I'll be like, can, can, can I just finish this episode of The Staircase? <laughs> Is that good? It's, it's good. It's good. Yeah? Yeah. It's, it's not as, like, 50-50 as... Making a uh, murderer. Making a murderer was, where you genuinely don't know what, what happens. Right. Uh, it seems to be pretty clear that there was no basis for a guilty verdict in... Yeah. So yeah. what's the give me the like the the reader's digest version of the the crime? Oh, so this guy, this writer who wrote war no- novels, um basically they find he finds his wife at the bottom of their staircase and she's still alive when he calls 911. Um they show up 75 minutes later. 75 minutes. Yeah, they he called and then he had to call again, and he was like, where are you? She's not breathing. They show up. There's a bunch of blood all down the staircase. There's a bunch of blood on the walls. Yeah. They basically call it. They, they think there was foul play, so they take him in to do a trial. Um, and, and basically, we're trying to find out if he killed his wife. The, the, def- the prosecution. prosecution was saying that he beat her to death. Right. But they have no murder weapon. They assume. Well, if you beat someone to death, the murder weapon is your hand. Well, they assume. No, they they think it was something hollow because she had seven lacerations on her head, but no skull fracturing and no brain damage. So could that also be from the stairs? It could be from the stairs. Those are hollow. Well, this, well, this is what the defense uh, posited was that she right. fell down the stairs. Was or that she, she fell? She, she she fell. But that's a classic abuser excuse too. Right. She's, well, she's clumsy. But they like it, they go back and they talk about how they didn't really have any problems and it, you have to take it with a grain of salt because this guy paid for the documentary. Right. Well, that was the same to be thing done. with the the defense paid for making a murderer. Right. Um. 
But and, and like I was reading up on it a little bit, and it turns out that she has this really big like life insurance policy which none of it went to him right after her death it all went to her um do you have a life insurance policy yeah i think i do you should <laughs> cancel that shit right now as a, as a universal you employee yeah, yeah i have a universal one you where don't Univer- don't don't say that name. you know uh universal auto auto That's company good cover thanks um <laughs> you know, universal in the sense of general oh right like healthcare. yeah yeah so you're it's Canadian? Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you should cancel that because that'll straight up get you murdered. Not this one. It's not yeah, that good. It's not, <laughs> just, just the exertion alone wouldn't be worth yeah, it. Yeah, but you know, it, it, the thing is, is I, and I can say this because I was with someone for 13 years. I've been married. Um, the, the amount you get from a life insurance policy uh, may not be great, but your threshold for what you'll <laughs> get... Uh, what's the best way of phrasing this? You'll care less about the money as time goes on. You'll be like, you know, I could get a new car. <laughs> <laughs> instead of like, it's like, instead of like, I'm gonna get ten million dollars and I'm gonna retire. After ten years, you're like, you know what? I could get a really nice lunch out of this. <laughs> and this podcast is being put into evidence. <laughs> Exhibit A. Well, I'm not married now. Well. Oh shit. Did you guys marry me? Yep. Mm-hmm. Fuck. <laughs> While you were sleeping. Damn it. Ah, got him. <laughs> uh-huh. That's why I woke up with a pee in my pants. We have to get all that out of the way before it's repealed. Gay marriage? Uh, tri- triple marriage. Oh. Right? That's a legal thing. Oh. I, th- I don't think that oh, is legal anyway. I didn't know that's anywhere. what we were doing. I just thought we were marrying him to someone else. Yeah, that's what I thought, I thought like too. We, we oh, I thought we were taking him into the marriage. Oh, man. You, you have be to my look over the documents and make sure. <laughs> Whoops. You're, you're my <laughs> brother husband. Yeah. <laughs> it's like reverse. Um, oh, they what Mormonism. Uh, uh, they won't. They won't allow women to marry multiple men. But in men. A few years. But men can't marry multiple women. Well, Not legally. legally. Not legally. Not legally. In the eyes of God. Yeah. And that's what I've but been if you saying. Have a strong for religious years. conviction. You can do whatever you like. Yeah. yeah you true. Can do. I uh, if you and, don't want to sell a cake, don't sell a cake. Yeah, you want to kick someone out of your restaurant, kick someone out of your restaurant. It's all the same. Yep. S- Marvel's Civility War. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, snapping, what is the over under on? Because Ant Man comes out next week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At the end of that movie, people just oh, start yeah. disappearing. I think so. Uh, I think ab- absolutely. Yeah. Like, they have to. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think so, for sure. I think his daughter is going to be gone. Oof. I think that's that's probably... Daddy, I think hurts. that's what gets him back in the fold. Yeah, I think that happens. I think, I mean, spoilers, I think Pepper's probably gone. We won't see that. Yeah, now, well, but... but... Oh, no, I think I think she's okay. I think she's okay. And and the Stark kid will be okay. That's my theory. She may. That may be. I don't think Iron Man is coming out of the second movie alive. No, I think no I think he sacrifices think himself it, to it, save everyone else. I see. I think that's how Cap goes. I think both of them are going to go. But, well, maybe because I think uh, Captain Marvel is going to replace Cap on as the, uh, captain, the, of the, as the captain of the Avengers. Yep. And Iron Man will just go to like and Bucky will be Captain America. Oh, one arm, mm-hmm. Buckster. Yeah. Who who's he going to? Have a uh, well. They have set up the whole white. Over. They've, they've set up the White Wolf thing, so maybe not. That's what kind of bothered me about Captain America is his entire storyline now is almost like uh, Bucky was his childhood crush that he never got over because every single thing he does, he's like, "But Bucky, Bucky was never nice to him." Go back and look at the tapes that you saw. He was yeah, a, he was a tender lover. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh God, I hate Bucky so much. I could I could go on for days about All right, how much so I hate. So everyone, that guy. this podcast just got a lot longer. And, <laughs> and go. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I, he's just a fucking piece of shit. Um <laughs> He's a hero. He should have been that's killed. A, a he should have been put down. Put him down. <laughs> like a wolf. put him down. Man, like, so, like he's too this, big of a risk. This whole thing has probably been the biggest threat to Megan and Mars' marriage. <laughs> he's too big of a risk. Uh, the fact that the Megan is uh, Team Iron Man and I'm Team Cap. And well, now here's the difference: that 
like we just lost like fifty percent of the audience listening. But <laughs> in the comic books, so what? So the two people, are yeah. Listening. Okay. <laughs> in the comic books, they were very different. In the comic books, I was more Team Cap. But when the movie came out, I was like, Team Cap is whiny bitch because correct. Like Tony Stark is saying all of the right things. And correct. he's countering every argument, and then Cap just goes, "But Bucky, yeah, correct." Oh, see, I'm on the opposite side. I think it's it's. Uh, I think it's we can Iron tell Man by your bitching out. We can tell by your accent that you're a terrorist. Yeah, so. it's true. I did come. I did come over here legally. He's got to. So. He's got to get a, get out of this country. Did you get? Did you come in through Mexico? You and a bunch of kids. Yeah. Did you steal some kids. You know. Never seeing them again. You know, <laughs> one of your kinfolk is should get deported. That Milo fucking. Oh, Yiannopoulos. Yeah, yeah he's get him out of I here. Don't even, I, He's he, not. He he's British? not a citizen. He is British, but he's also uh, uh, somehow a white nationalist as well. D- yeah, there's no history of white nationalism in Britain. Listen. Yeah, we didn't go around the entire. But world like with for, flags Amer- for saying, America, oh, you're, oh, you're brown. This is our country now. I'm saying for America, he's like don't America underestimate. Do don't underestimate what a white man can do because. You know, a lot of a lot of stuff is getting taken from us right now. You guys are so scared. Our, <laughs> our potential is unlimited. You Hasht- know what's sad? It's <laughs> hashtag me. We're asking we're asking you guys to share. Hashtag just me. <laughs> You're asking us to share. To Please share. share. I'm all. And f- you don't want to share. Don't say you. You the collective you. This, this hat that I'm wearing right now, at some point I'm going to do a Scooby-Doo reveal where I'm going to peel away this blue and you're going to see the red of my Make America Great Again hat. Oh, God. My MAGA. Which and no one will be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> I also talk like this. <laughs> and I would have gotten... And that goes one of the, of the that's two. Why he's, that's one of his only <laughs> characters. And I would have I would have gotten voice. away with it if it wasn't for you Jews and Mexicans. Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yep, yeah. And there goes the other one. No, no <laughs> listeners. No, See we got one. We have one left. No, we lost him with the, with the blue reveal. Ah, son of a bitch. All right, well, it's just us now. Megan, go on your two-day tirade about Bucky. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The, the, the politic thing keeps coming back up. But yeah. I did think of this. Um, while I was at uh, the park, Yeah. I saw a guy with a MAGA hat, like, just walking around. And I thought, like, like that's a bold. I mean, I, I guess if if he's if you're happy with the way things are going, you're proud. He's wearing that hat as a beacon to anyone else who might look at him and go, "I'm with you, brother." He's wearing a professional it, wrestler. He's wearing it, hoping somebody will start shit with him, See, so I, that he. Can I kind start. of had that thought too, but then I'm like, ah, gee, I, it's no different to it's no different to wearing a Patriots shirt. Yeah. yeah. But if you were like a fo- good job, but, but if, you were a, if you were a Patriot shirt, like I want to punch you. Did you, did you <laughs> see my um, my shirt that Renette made me for the Super Bowl? That said, um, like she she painted it, but it said Tom Tom Brady's a diarrhea person. <laughs> he and his pals drink coconut Lacroix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is uh, though. He's gross. But yeah, with the hat, I was I was just like that's bold and. and I don't know if I don't part of me thinks he was being confrontational that he wants someone to call him on it. But another part of me just thinks like he's just he's this is his boy. Mm-hmm. It's it's a, him wearing a, a Metallica shirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's it. I think it's both. Um, I mean, people still wear, you know, hats with Confederate flags on it. Yeah. And and, and well, that's OK, because it's history, Todd. Right. You're right. Yeah, and that's the, it's the same with the characters. Make America great again. You yeah. know how it was great before. Yeah. So like that's history too. Yeah. So it's the same. We're gonna right. go back to indigenous people only. The whites. Yeah, we yeah. we uh, the whites and Jesus founded America. Correct. Mm-hmm. Together in when, 1776. Yeah, Jesus had this awesome jet ski that he introduced yeah. all of the white men to. Yep. And we jet skied, and he was like, check this shit out. And he, like, jet ski flipped over a shark. Yeah. And we were like, oh, that's a mare. And then, I rem- I remember and then the Jesus Mayflower. was like, hey. <laughs> I remember the Mayflower looking like the floating <laughs> island from, uh, uh, from that, from Waterworld. Okay, yeah, yeah. It was exactly like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said, uh, I want to do that. And he said, yeah. do you? Do you think you can? And I said, a mare I can. Oh, boy. 
his Jesus's best friend was named the mayor for that story to work. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> um, it's. It, I said this on the last week's podcast. It just gets depressing. It does get, and it's and it's hard because it's permeating it's, everything. It's constant. it's constant all the time. Mm-hmm. I'm exhausted. And I'm I even exhausted. like I, you know, even, you know, starting this podcast tonight, I was like, ah, we, we, we won't talk about it. No, oh, it always comes up. But mm-hmm. even if if you just take the take the politics out of it, there's just a certain point where you're like, well, this is just kind of a shitty thing. Like I. It doesn't feel right. No. It doesn't feel like taking politics out, take left, take right, take all of that out, mm-hmm. and you... Like You're left you, with the World Cup. That's, that's it. You, no, that's fixed, too. Um, you, do you want to know how it ends? I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Russia wins. Cool. Yeah. Um, they, they are the, the, on the most steroids, so they win. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, you, you just... You listen to that audio tape of oh my God. the um, the kids crying, yeah. and you go, God, that just that feels gross. That feels bad. And, yeah, it and does. but then, what feels worse than that is when people you know defend it rather yep. than rather than say, Yeah, that's gross. But they're like, Well, they shouldn't have come here. Yeah, and, and you're like, Just take take the politics out of it. If it doesn't feel right, you're doing something wrong. Right. Uh, there's just, there's just so many things like that right now that make me just kind of like I just feel grossed out. Yeah, I feel like I'm weighed down by a lot of it. It's very it's sad. Like keeping keeping everything like like keeping all of the terrible things going and like relevant rather than going well. This is this is the latest terrible thing, so I have to concentrate on that and leaving everything right. else that's gone. That's the, that's the tiring bit is is like not forgetting anything. Right. Right. But. Uh, I don't remember. I don't know. I don't remember what I was going to say. Uh, well, so I'm, I'm going to answer the podcast question that you posited five hours ago um, about aliens. Yes. I think if they contacted me and they were like, what should we do? I'd be like, do you have some kind of way to explain Put logic in people's head, either side. Right. Because there are people who are uh, left leaning, left leaning, who also don't listen. Like both both sides need to be like, sit down. Let me explain. This is what these are the facts. This is what's happening. But like the problem with that, with facts like that is it's like any scientific study, any scientific study. If you look at the data. You can misinterpret it to mean anything you want, but the data doesn't change. Mm-hmm. It's just how you choose to look at it. Well, then in that case, I would be like, yes, please invade. Um, do it Independence Day style so that everybody rallies together all around the world and just focuses on so this. Like, so like focusing their attention on places they can, they can find guidebooks on. Yeah. So like if it's a major, if it's a major monument, yeah. destroy that. Yeah, yeah. For the sim- you know, for the symbolism. Yeah. Well, I, I think aliens it, love symbolism. They love it. I'm ready for a an invasion, Independence Day style, because I am a Mac user, <laughs> and, I, and I know I can bring them down. Yep. With a Mac. Times up. <laughs> um, hashtag, hashtag, hashtag times, times up. up. <laughs> That's the, the remake. Um, I think honestly, if you could, if the aliens were cool about it, I would be like. Guys, I don't want you to really invade, but Pretend. I need you to have a pretty fucking realistic attack. Um, abduct a shit ton of people, mm-hmm. say you killed them. Yeah. And then we'll have our own little Avengers who manage to somehow get the time stone. <laughs> people will believe that shit if they see aliens. You could tell them anything. Yeah. Uh, and then you bring those people back, and you're like, we did it, but we have to defeat them together. Yeah. And then people are like, yeah, we fucking did it. And the aliens leave, and the problem with that is... A hundred years later, it's going to be the same Not shit. even a hundred years later. <laughs> it'll, be like, it'll be like 15 minutes afterwards, someone will be like, yeah, we kicked their ass. I didn't see that Chinese guy do much. Yeah. <laughs> Put him in a fence. Uh, I think, yeah, I think if uh, if aliens came and spoke to me directly, I'd be like, "Could you just can you can you just fix the History Channel and MTV <laughs> for us? Because it's it's gone off the rails. It's yeah. gone off the rails a lot. Mm-hmm. 
Isn't the um, isn't the, uh, the 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 Jersey Shore new season is that on MTV? Mm-hmm. I don't know. And they and they justify it by putting a banner at the bottom saying the song that is currently playing is by so and so. Garbage. So here's the other thing about uh, the politics being so bad right now. Just what's going on? Um, like you guys know my shtick in in comedy mm-hmm. is saying awful things. And why that's funny to me is because it's so far outside of the realm of what I actually feel. So I think that that's funny. But now those things that I'm saying. And people uh, are agreeing with you. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm like, guys, I'm going to have to fucking change my act because, <laughs> because you're a racist. Way to well, go. This is now, now, it's, now it's affecting you. Yeah. That's, you know. Yeah. That's, and that's, and that's, when, it that, that's when it matters. First they came for the comedian. <laughs> Hashtag me. <laughs> and I said nothing. <laughs> Hashtag just me. <laughs> Um, the the uh, w- w- you think we're gonna find life in our lifetime? I th- I think it's possible. I definitely. I think we'll find life. I don't know if we'll find intelligent life. Uh, yeah. I think we'll find something on Titan. I think we'll find something on Mars. I think Mars is. I I have a feeling we'll we'll find it. It will be announced officially, and no one will pay attention. Mm-hmm. The number of like official things that have come out of NASA and things like. Yeah. By the way, we know. For absolute certain, there there was oh, and may still yeah. be water people on Mars. It. Yeah, and people are like, oh yeah, cool, that's great. Yeah, people yeah. don't believe like, it until you get a dolphin doing a flip out of it or yeah. Jesus on a jet ski. Nope. No, until, yeah, until <laughs> flights are like two hundred dollars. Yep. But I do think when we go to Titan and we burrow through the ice, mm-hmm. I do think we will see aquatic life. I would say I would say that's pretty. Yeah. That'd be pretty awesome. Yeah. Can you imagine seeing that picture for the first time? Well, it'd be super awesome. But mm-hmm. you know what? For the, f- for the five minutes that anyone sure isn't gonna yeah. Sure isn't going to be any good if we're all nuked by then. Yeah. Uh, North Korea is improving their nuclear facility. Yes, correct. Because that's that? what... That's Great deal. That was the deal. <laughs> that was the... <laughs> they actually made it bigger. Hey, man. Hey, that's really small. We got a really big one over in America. You just want to you want to just stop where you are right now? I sure. I, I'm kind of surprised <laughs> that I didn't hear more about that. Oh yeah, because like, there's I heard nothing it, to talk it, about. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. oh, Korea said they were going to stop and then they didn't. Oh, oh shocking. shocking. Yeah. But our dude is doing something crazier right now. Yeah. And now he's doing something else crazier right now. And then his right wife now. wore a jacket. It was do you remember? So dope. Do you remember when um, George W. Bush, like everyone was like, he's fucking Hitler. He's, I mean, they said the remember same thing about Obama. Remember when they said Obama? Yeah, they yeah. said Obama was Hitler. But the, I guess that's just. I think about that a lot. Poor, I think about like. Poor Hitler's lineage who's just like, <laughs> they've had to change their name. But the di- I think the difference was, was like, they were like, this guy's Hitler, and then that would be it. They'd be like, ah, oh, don't be, don't be an idiot. And now people go, this guy's Hitler, and then present like decades <laughs> worth of evidence to support it. I, I think about it a lot, though, because I think about my parents are were Trump voters, and uh, they still support him. And I think about how they thought Obama was a fascist and trying to right. you know like a communist and it, all kind of ists i mean to be fair if obama and trump were walking down opposite sidewalks you would hold your purse a little tighter on oh, obama's yeah, side for sure he's a nigerian <laughs> see like that joke right there there are people that would go fucking a right man my mother my mother tried to convince me that the reason that he's bad is because his father was from Kenya <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. the whole thing and I just think about like well maybe that's how they were feeling during Obama and I should have a little bit more like compassion towards that because now I'm feeling but then I go no I feel like it's way worse right it's yeah. way worse and also like I don't, it- I don't feel like our our extreme reaction is ba- is like based on a lie mm-hmm right? Like well, it Tony, may be it may be based on an idea that it's not deliberate. Mm-hmm. He may like I, I fully believe it's this the it's everyone behind him and he's going, Sure, I don't know what I'm doing. I yeah. will do what you're telling me to do. Well T- Tony just walked in. Hi Tony. So without putting you on the spot, Tony. No, I know. Without putting you on the spot, Tony. Solve the world's problems. Uh should we keep these kids in cages forever <laughs> or just kill them now? Nothing. What? I ain't no part of this. <laughs> so uh, he's complicit. Yeah, we've, yeah. we've established Take that. Well, you got, you're just following orders. I get it, comrade. Oh boy, that was two different references in one <laughs> I, sentence. I, well, you know, 
They're all Bond villains. Uh, <laughs> it was the, uh, the the John Stewart thing, um, where he did the like, we'll just give you whatever you want. We'll. Uh, it was. What, did you see the clip of John Stewart on Late Show? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll give you a building with gold paint. Already had it. We'll give you a we'll give you a volcano that you could destroy an island with. Yes, it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck. Um, all right, we should we should wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was a really Tony's funny episode, here. guys. It was <laughs> laugh riot. We talked about aliens and Jesus on a jet ski mm-hmm. and Trump ruining my comedy. Yeah, the real reason he has to be stopped because <laughs> Todd's only got one bit, you guys. Yeah, that's all, all he's bit. got. I'm the asshole. It's all he's Aaron got. Dillman, 2020. <laughs> Well, I used to think I couldn't run for president, but now I can. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe even I could. I need to get a sexual assault under my belt to really seal the deal, though. A couple. A, a dozen or so. God, i got to get to work. Do you have any friends? They no. want to be famous in 15 to 20 years? I have zero friends. <laughs> I have zero friends. All right. Uh, <sighs> Megan. Yeah. What did you learn tonight? <laughs> Everything is garbage. Um, I learned that Jesus is the Fonz. <laughs> he didn't jump the shark. He did. You told yet. me he did. No, you told me he did. That's. I his, believe you. That's when he comes skin. No, I believed you. <laughs> I was telling the truth. Yeah. Okay. Just uh, put money in this collection plate, and I'll tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I learned uh, the people listen to this this podcast too. Yeah. I mean, not, not anymore, but they did. Yeah. Yeah. This this part is just for us. Yeah. Um. And I learned something tonight, too, that if this broadcast <laughs> makes it to an alien ship and they're like, do we go down there and give them our technology or just blow it up? These are the two options. I think I'm ready. Like, just blow it up. Yeah. I wonder if aliens, like, I feel like if they're intelligent aliens, they would have deleted the podcast app. From their <laughs> from their phones, it's like this is unnecessary. You're I can like, just you can do it now, talking. but you can listen to us on Spotify now too. So <laughs> oh boy! Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, the the I and the the other part of me that just kind of wants these bitches to realize how stupid they are is before the aliens blow up the planet, I want them to replay that moment of the two girls that I saw today that that just bumped into each other, and were just one was way worse than the other. Mm-hmm. But I just want them to see that to be like, oh, this is why. Oops. We're Mama's Comedy Show. Ooh. We're here every Friday night at 10 p.m. Oh, Call 407 1985 to make a reservation. Megan, where are you? I am on Twitter at Borkus Morkus and also Instagram somewhere. What? Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, where are you? Uh, I am on a very rarely updated Twitter at Jason Blackwater. I mostly tweet in haikus because I'm a cl- walking cliche. Gross. <laughs> I don't know how to spell that. He doesn't know how to spell that. Um, Anything. It's like black as in He's the color and water as in the liquid. He's gonna do it again. Wait. Uh, and then Instagram <laughs> at uh, the letter J followed by the color black followed by the liquid water. J Blackwater. Instagram. IG. Uh, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Totters, T O D D E R S. Uh, you can buy my book on Amazon. Hey. Yay. Inhuman by Todd Perrin. Uh, do you see my reviews in England? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've been posting cool. about it incessantly. Yeah. <laughs> it's exciting. Because I have, I have 13 on the American Amazon and then on the cute little one that they have over there. Yeah. The cute little, the quaint little we, we Amazon call, that they call, have in the We UK. call it the former colony Amazon <laughs> region. <laughs> dot com. Dot com. Uh, dot all right. UK. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.